Hey, welcome back. This is Chris UX. I'm a UX designer for the Aspire Agency based here in Atlanta, Georgia. In this video here, I just want to show you how to leverage AI to help you through your workflow in creating your UI portfolio. Because uh, if you just start out in UX, you're trying to build your portfolio up and it can be overwhelming trying to think of like what you should do, what app you should build, how you should do it. And I just want to show you using the tools available to help you work through it faster, quicker, more efficiently without overwhelming yourself, right? Uh, so if it's your first time here, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it. Um, if you want to link with me on LinkedIn, feel free. Uh, you can find me under Chris UX on LinkedIn. Send a connection to me, drop me a message if you have any questions. Um, it's cool, all right? So I'm going to show you the, the final product I have first, and then I'm going to go back to um, go back to zero, and I'm going to show you how I got to that point, right? So I ended up making an app for a book exchange platform. So I'm going to restart the prototype here. Splash screen. Go to your login. Uh, get the login here. Password. You log in. Lead to your dashboard. And, you know, so you go to your dashboard, you see a wish list of your books that you're looking for. You see the books that are nearby. And you see recommendations. Um, so you choose this book here. And you book details, who offered by, uh, condition of the book and everything else. And then you want to um, offer the change because it's a book that you want. All right. But, of course, you want to make sure the other book reader on the other side get what they want, too. So the app tells you, like, well... Book Lover 74, interested in historical fiction, romance, novels, and mystery. Cool. So I'll choose a book for my, my selection that may fit uh, what they're looking for. World Inspired Nathan Hill. Offer the exchange. So they confirmed the offer. Cool. So the user accepted my offer. So I got a notification they accepted it. So I'm going to tap here to set up the arrangement. All right, so this is um, this book, Lover 74. So I'll type in the message to set up the exchange. Hi there, I'm excited to take a book with you. When are you available this week? She hits me back. Hit it again. Uh, set up for Friday. Cool. 6.30. Cool. All right. So we set up the meet. And so after we change books, you know, we mark it's completed. Cool. Book exchange complete. Give a rating. Five stars, a great meetup with her. We change books, leave feedback, and we're done. That's my prototype in a nutshell. So we clean and take you back to the dashboard. All right. So this is what I made um, from portfolio, and I did it in less than a week. You know, considering all the other projects and time, job, family that I had to deal with, but I was able to knock this out in less than a week, thanks to AI and other tools. All right. So I'm just kind of show you what I did here. So, of course, it's like, okay, where did I get started? Well, if you haven't started using JetGBT, this is a good time to start using it. Um, like I said, this is not a, this is not a, a video where I'm going to be breaking down exactly how I built the app. I'm just showing you my thought process and workflow through the app and how, um, like I say, you use JetGBT, kind of work through some of your ideas and thoughts. So, for me starting out, I was like, man, I didn't know what type of app I wanted to make. So I asked ChatGPT, like, yo, um, I told him what I was doing and what I'm looking for. I'm like, hey, I'm building a UI portfolio for my, um, for UX, and I need some ideas of what I need to make an app for. Give, give, me, give me 10 suggestions. So he gave me 10 suggestions of an app. And after that list he gave me, I liked the Book Exchange platform. It looked kind of interesting, so I started to roll with that. Cool. So then I was like, okay, um, I was like, you know, you'd be like, okay, where do I start? So then I asked Chat, Chat GPT again. Now, what are ways of user flow for users to exchange books on Book Exchange platform? It gave it to me right there. All right. The user login, sign up, dashboard, browse search for books, book details, initiate exchange, uh, select the recipient, uh, exchange. Request, confirmation chat, book status update, exchange completion, feedback and rating, notification center, transaction history, right? And of course, you know, uh, this is not gospel here. Like, you just can't sit here and just think uh, it, 
chat GPT can do all the work for you, but it will give you enough to nudge, to nudge you in the right direction. That's what you should be using it for, to bounce off ideas and thoughts and kind of point you in the right direction. You still have to do the work, you know what I mean? So, but this is a good starting point though, right? So I just started building up frames, you know, just kind of like setting up how many frames are going to be for this flow here, right? And we keep it simple right now. So just to be clear, I re-asked that to be T, like, hey, I'm creating an MVP of the app because I'm not trying to flesh out a full app for my portfolio. I just want to kind of give an MVP and kind of showing, um, you, you know, you're showing recruiters and your hiring managers that you know how to use fake money, you know how to prototype. That's basically why, you, why you're doing it. So, um, so I asked that to be T, give me an MVP of this, of this app. He gave me a similar op he gave me a similar answer, but he kind of like you know it was slightly different here. Cool. So I'm I'm in the right direction. So I started to build flesh out my frame. So because I, I want to know how many frames I'm gonna have to design for this MVP or for this prototype, right? So it's splash screen, login, dashboard, book details, initiate exchange, send exchange requests, and I'm leaving little notes that ChatGPT gave me. I'm leaving some of my own notes and ideas as it come to me. So like here, like uh, if you notice from the answer that Chat GPT gave me, uh, it didn't say anything about location, of discoverability, recommendations, a search browse feature. It did say search browse feature, and I'll see my notifications. So I'm writing additional notes in these in these screens to keep in mind as I put this together. So this, you know, it's not pretty. This like sketching. You just sketch out your ideas here. Um, yeah. So yeah, so ChatGPT told me when a user finds a book of interest, they can click on it to view details like the cover, author, and user reviews. Um, yeah, book availability in the area condition of the book. Um, I added genres and book wish lists that users are looking for in return. You know, it's like something, like I said, things come to mind. I'm just writing out notes here, right? Uh, so yeah, so ChatGPT told me about having a confirmation chat screen I added, maybe add a distinct button to add exchange details and allow the other user to accept the client or make an exchange. Once confirmed, give the option to add confirmation to Google Calendar. So like the additional ideas that I have here that came to mind. All right. So now we got a nice little skeleton, little framework to work with here. All right. So I'll zoom out. So I dot. Usually I build upon it, but in this case here, because I, I figure I may do a video on this, I just start um, keep a better track of my, of my work process here. So I'm going to kind of walk you through it. Um, so, of course, so my next step is, you know, Ted TBT gave me, you know, it gave me a nudge in the right direction, but I want to go deeper. So the next thing I did was a competitive analysis. So I just went on my phone, went to the App Store, and looked for book exchange apps. I only found one that caught my interest. Um, so then I Googled book exchange platforms and I found more online that's, you know, uh, that's more for desktop and laptops. So I kind of went through there and got some more ideas and it kind of like added into my flow a little bit. So after that, it's like, okay, but now how I want it to look. Because I know I'm making it for mobile, but how do I want it to look? Well, then I went to Dribbble. You um, yeah, never been to Dribbble before. It's like the word Dribbble, but with three Bs, not two. Dribble with three Bs dot com. And you can type in anything and you give you screens for it, right? So I typed in book exchange app because nothing is new, nothing is new under the sun. More likely, it's something you're trying to do, more likely somebody already done it. So pull inspiration from what they've done and how to make it into your own. So I'll pull a lot of screens here. Because um, I, like I said, I didn't know what direction I wanted to go. I didn't know how I wanted to look. So anything that caught my eye, I copy and paste it into my board. You know, I want like a vision board, right? So I kind of like, I, I like the art direction of this one. I thought that was cool. Um, I think I chose this one for the profile and I like the, the, you know, the process of onboarding here. I like the color scheme. I like the clean layout they had. I like the way they brought down the genres here and the books. Um, I like the way they did the genres at the top, the books near nearby. So I'm pulling ideas. I'm pulling inspiration from Dribble. Um, I like the card layout here, or the cover, and uh, summary of the book. So I'm still trying to figure out how I want to present this information, how I want to create this app. 
And so I'm pulling the inspiration here from Dribble. And, and that's okay. I like the funk selection here. It could, to me, gave me a feel of actual book. You know, they didn't do a sans serif. They did a serif, I think you, you would call this. So I kind of like the vibe of this. It gave it have a, a literary feel to this app. That's all I like about this one. Uh, I think I like the color scheme, the simplicity of the layout. So I'm pulling inspiration. I'm looking at the colors, looking at layout, looking at fonts, looking at features, how I want my app to be. And that's fine. And, and, and you see how I pull a little bit of everything into my own, into the final result, right? So now um, I'm on my second draft on this app now. Now I'm getting a little bit further ahead, all right? Uh, now me, I come from a background of photography and design, and so my, I kind of know what my style is when it comes to UI, uh, and what appeals to me, like I know my aesthetic, uh, so I, I like photo heavy stuff, I like clean stock images, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, so um, here, and I just use the plugin, right click, plugin, unsplash, it's free. It's from stock images. They have you can go to unsplash.com as well, but I, I'm I'm liking the plugin, so I just typed in you know reading book. And you see a whole bunch of pictures of people reading books, and I find a book that I like and I added it here. Simple as that, right? So yeah, splash screen. Uh, you know how you go to the app and have a splash screen, then you go to your login. Um, so I get my login screen here. Sketch out, and this is not what. And at this point, I'm not making things perfect. I'm just kind of like putting things. I'm visualizing everything. You know how I kind of want things to go. How I want it to flow at this point. All right. So once you log in, I want to go to your dashboard. Um, from the expression here, I want to make sure the search features is easily available to search for a book. Got a location here because the book has changed. You know, you want to make sure it's in your area. So I thought it was cool to add in a marker here to tell you how far away a book is that you're interested in. And as you notice here, everything's the same because right now I'm just trying to map out how I want it to look. So um, yeah, so I to create a card, have the, the book title, the author, and how far away is this book. I figured if uh, if I'm a, a book exchanger, I, I probably wish there's some books I'm interested in, so I'll put it at the top, the books that are nearby, and recommendations, all right? So say we click on this book, because that's the book I want, and I pull the images off Amazon. Easy, you know, if I any book website. So then I was like, okay, uh, now what kind of book details would, uh, would I be interested in seeing if I'm trying to exchange for a book? So I went to Amazon. I just took a screenshot of their party details, kind of like how they did it. I didn't want to have the ISBN number on there, but paperback I thought was important. The language is important to me, I thought, you know. So I put that in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, the language, because some books, you know, you may be bilingual or you may want to book another language. Um, yeah, so, you know, paperback or hardback, I thought that's important, the language, uh, location, how far away it is with the condition of the book. So I figured those would be our detail. Because like I say, you're not just a graphic, a graphic designer, you're a UI designer. And so you want your design to make sense and you want your design to be delightful. So, and because my thing is you make this prototype and you know you go to a job interview with the prototype, they may ask you, okay, well, why did you do this? What were your mindset behind this? Why you decide to do this? And you gotta be able to answer those questions. So for me, you know, I, as I'm putting this together, I wanted it to make sense. Um, so I got some ideas about the navigation. So I'll put this down here at the bottom here. You know, things may change. That's fine. I'm just kind of like, I'm still working through my flow. I'm trying to try to make it all make sense because what ChatGBT gave me, like I said, it nudged me in the right direction, but it didn't give me a fully fleshed out flow. I still had to fill in the missing parts here to make it all make sense. So, you know, I offered an exchange. Uh, now I need the, so how do I make the exchange happen? Or, or how do I make sure the user on the other side gets a book that they want? So I made a screen here where this is the book I want. Um, I want it for Book Nerd 74. So uh, Book Nerd 
are interested in these type of books. So I know, so I'm not just offering any book in exchange. I'm trying to offer something that they're interested in. So that's why I put that in there, right? So they sell the book for my own collection. So, uh, and they make an offer. Yeah, they make an offer. You know, I, I want to make a clear screen, like a confirmation. It's like, yeah, I'm receiving this book here in exchange for this and confirm the offer. Um, and then I want to go back to the dashboard and get a notification from the user saying, hey, I accept your offer. This this arrangement book exchange. Um, and this comes to your this comes to uh, UX writing. Like, what do you put here as a notification? If you have issues with that, that's fine. Again, go back to ChatGPT. Like, oh, um, I want a notification to say that the, the offer been accepted for my book for my book exchange. Give me some suggestions. I, I think I, I think I did it here. I don't think I did this myself. I think offer accepted, but I still went to ChatGPT for help on the wording of it and came to that conclusion. All right. But of course, I also want to make a notification to messages. So you got two ways to check in the, the offer. Come back in here. All right. So I'll start a conversation here. All right. And I was thinking like, you know, kind of awkward talking to a stranger on how to start a conversation. So I made like a little note here saying, the book exchange offer accepted, set up exchange details, kind of like letting the user know, like, okay, they accepted your offer, just arrange the details. So I have a little conversation here to make the to make the exchange. Again, I'm a busy man, and I don't want to be spend too much time trying to write a script for this prototype. So I went to Chat GPT, like, hey, write me a write me a short script for the book exchange, right? And it did. It, it popped it right out. Uh, I think it gave me a longer exchange, and then I'm like, okay, this is the this, this conversation too long. Can you make this shorter? Chat GPT, make it shorter fit into the app, all right? Got in there. And then I was like, okay, how do I make this chat feature look like? Valid. Again, go back to Dribble. I typed in uh, messaging apps and I found some screens that I liked. I like some, uh, some layouts that I liked. So I like, cool, so I kind of brought that in. And so inspired from this, helped me create this. And like I said, it's not perfect. We just put stuff in here, I'm trying to make it make sense, All right? So then after, um, yeah. So after you make the make the exchange, I I need the app to know that the change been completed, so I can leave, so I can leave feedback. So I made a button at the top saying "Mark is completed." You know. So um, I ain't know what to do with this yet. I was like, offer confirm. I couldn't find the right image for it yet, so I just popped that in there for now. As you will see later on, that I changed it. All right. Uh, leave feedback and that confirmation and go back to the dashboard. So now it's kind of coming together of this app now, right? Like, I'm using ChatGPT, it gave me directions. I'm filling in the blanks now. I'm using Dribble for inspiration, right? And then I have some additional screens to keep in mind that I may want to do. It's the Mission Center, a transaction history. Um, and the profile page, right? So moving on to my final design. Now I'm tweaking things up. Now things are really kind of cooking now, right? Now I'm making things even more cleaner. So I find my image. Oh, so then like, <laughs> so they're like, yo, okay, so now you're doing a book exchange platform. What do I want to name it? I say, I don't want to spend too much time thinking about these smaller details, right? JTBT, give me 10 names for a book exchange platform that's unique and creative. It gave me 10 names. I chose BookSwap Haven. Sound dope. But I wanted this uh, app to look real. So, again, I don't want to spend too much time uh, making the logo for this. So, this logo here, I did in like in 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, over here. I use Canva. Canva.com. Free. You know? Went to Canva, made a logo, exported out as a PNG, so it has uh, so I had a transparent background. Made different colors here to make sure it fit light and dark screens, and popped it in. You know, these are t these are time saving measures keeping you from overwhelming yourself on the smaller details. So like that TPT gave me the name. I went to Canva, gave me a logo. Just, just cranking this thing out, right? Uh, I learned, you know, from doing the daily UI challenge that, you know, it's cool to use have some type of social media or Google login 
for a fast onboarding experience. So I had that here, but also had the email password here as well. Um, a dashboard, which I pull. I like the, the scrolling feature here, which I pulled for my inspiration. Go back up here. What screen that's, uh, did I get this from? This is something that really stood out to me. Yeah, this here. Yeah, I got, I, you know, it has a little scrolling feature here. So I, I kind of like that. So I kind of pull from that. So like I say, I'll use my inspiration in, and I'm putting it in my final design here. So now, of course, I'm going to clean it up. So now I got, you know, every book is different. So I got different book titles. I went to Amazon. I went to, um, I didn't want to feel like different books all day. So I was like, yo, Amazon had the, the you know, it's the end of the year right now. So uh, at the time of this recording. So they had a list of the best books of the year. So I clicked on the list and I just download each cover I saw on that list and put it in here. That's basically what I did. I don't know what the books are or what they're about. So, um, yeah. So I put the book, the book covers in here, the book titles and, and authors here. Put it together. And I changed around the, the distance a little bit. So now it's kind of like coming together now, right? So uh, we click on the book. You go to book details, go that's cleaned up, um, add a color scheme to it, add some color to it, so it's gonna be so plain. Um, I'll pull the color from the logo that I created in Canva, that's in there. So now it's kind of like coming together. Um, my my um, navigation here coming together, we clean. Another plugin, right click, <clears throat> I have a plugin called Iconify. Type in the button you're looking for pops up uh, notifications like whatever you want you got it it is it, in there bad button oh give me bad button or I need to put it in back you know yeah using the tools at your advantage I'm not building all this stuff from scratch you know you're being efficient all right and of course how you build these screens you need the ability to go back so you put my button here. Make sure it goes back, All right? So uh, now it's coming a little bit, it's coming together now. It's flowing. It's flowing. Um, you know, I disabled this button because you shouldn't be able to offer an exchange without selecting the book first. It is little things like that you keep in mind, like try to make it make sense. But when they do select the book, you can't offer it, offer an exchange. Cool. And then before you confirm an author. Confirm your offer. You see the books you're actually changing. Um, then I need a name for myself or for the user here. So, and I want to be like a pun on words. I want to be some, I'm trying to have a little fun with it. So, I went to JatGPT, like giving 10 names of uh, usernames for the book exchange platform that's on play on words on books. And one of the words, <laughs> one of the username it gave me was Ink Sync. I thought that was cool. It made me look corny. But I liked it. I'm using it, right? And then I didn't want to use book nerd, so I changed it to book lover seventy four, right? So little changes like that, I'm making it. I'm just bringing it to life here. Um, using the same color scheme as the logo here. Confirm the offer. Then you get a ping notification saying, "Hey, your offer been accepted." Uh, then you notice here down bottom, now you got a notification on your messages. Same thing. So in the prototype, you can click either or. They're both going to take you to the conversation here that we had written out in chat in chat GPT. Um, unsplash, unsplash plugin to put in a profile pic. I say now I'm, I'm flowing here. I'm just using tools at, at my at my to my advantage here. Um, yeah, so get that in there. I thought it was cool. Let's touch add a send button. Made this, made the send button stand out over the other buttons. So I made that same color as the logo here. Um, yeah. So yeah. So I finally found. <laughs> The confirmation screen thing, right? I was like, man, what picture do I use for a confirmation screen? And like, I'm reading a book with confetti of celebration. And I like, I'm googling, I can't find the images, I can't find nothing. Unsplash. I'm just that took a little bit of time, and I realized I had a Midjourney account. I popped, I popped in the AI again. I use a different AI tool, so I use Midjourney. I like, yo, um, gave me a celebration of books, and so it gave me a few images. I like that image, and I pop that in. So yeah, so, so this is fake. This is this is AI generated image, but I liked it. It made sense to me. 
Um, so leave feedback, thank you, and in. Right? So, so kind of bring together. So now, the prototype part. Right? Now, you see here, you click on prototype here on the right hand side, you see all my blue noodles here that I got going on here. Uh, so I'll do some things, some cool things I wasn't I quite familiar with. So, of course, you notice in the prototype, hit restart, start with a splash, and you go into the login. You know, uh, so here is a feature, if you're not already, already aware of it, that you can... Um, have a delay reaction here. So I set the delay for like two seconds. So so two seconds and two seconds it automatically go to this screen here to log in. So make it look like work like a real app. All right. So I mapped it out. So you tap to so get into the screen. We we tap here. Uh, it goes to here. You type, it, it fills in ink, ink sync ninety nine and Gmail. Then you put in your password. I connected it. I had the password here. Hit the login, go to this screen. Now, I want this part to work here. I want I want the baby to, to scroll, you know. So here you log in. Scrolling. Right? I thought that was cool. I like this. I didn't know how to do it. So what I did, use another resource. YouTube. I found me a horizontal scrolling tutorial. using your tools around you like i just want you i don't want you to feel like you had to do all this stuff top of your head by yourself there's so many things you can do to help you out here jad gpt dribble youtube just use whatever resources is around you to help you put this thing together right so that's how i did that um now the hardest part for me which makes no sense whatsoever to me is the drop down button that thing still kicks my ass to this day. I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know why it's so complicated to make a drop down in Figma. I, I don't understand. Now, they have a new update where it's easier than it was before, but I'm still learning that now. You know, it, it's still kind of confusing. Like you see, I was like um, going through a tutorial here just trying to learn how to make this thing work. But again, but I know what I wanted to do. I, I, I kind of read it in, in the final prototype here. This a uh, Get it done, but um, but yeah, I was just going through like a dozen tutorials on on, on drop down. So if you have a problem making drop down buttons work in, in your prototype, it's not you. It's Figma, I swear, because I went through like a dozen videos trying to make this thing happen, and I feel like you make one little mistake, it just breaks the whole thing, right? But anyway, so I went through here. Um, yeah, so yeah, and then for here, this was kind of cool. I wanted it to be like a conversation in my prototype. So, um, offer exchange, book selection, exchange, confirm offer. Like I said, you go to either or. Yeah, so I click here, T activate it, and I, I set on delay. Same thing like the splash screen. I just set for like a, a second and a half delay. Another message, delay, a response. So it looked like it's a real conversation. So that's why I did there, right? Um, yeah, so you see how I mapped out my screens here? And I, and I should make sure my other button still works. So make sure you no know, my home button works and everything else. I see I have a couple flaws here I need to fix. That's cool. Um, yeah, so that's how I pulled it all together. So in all in all, how many screens did it end up being? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, about 20. Mm. There's over 20 screens to get this prototype going. And I'm still going to add more. I'm going to flesh out this a little bit more. So now that it's all done, um, I have a friend that's been a designer much longer than I have. So I sent over to him. He's going to leave me some notes because I know he's a, better UI, he's a better UI designer than I am. So I know he catches things that I haven't caught. So I give him access to my file, leave notes. So like I say, lean on others, you know what I mean? To help you out to, to make sure it's the best product possible. You know, cause like say, you know, this is, this is your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm gonna meet you for the first time. You know what I mean? So you're like, oh, the word that comes to me. I'm sorry y'all, it's like seven o'clock in the morning filming this. 
But anyway, uh, first impression. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, you only have one first impression. So you want you want that impression to be great. So um, and that's all I wanted to do. Uh, oh yeah. So also um, here on your prototype, you can change how you want the prototype to look over here. Like you change the colors and everything here, and what type of phone you want, tablet, or laptop, whatever. So you may change to that too. So I thought all that that was cool. But yeah, so that's basically what I want to do. I just wanted to show you my thought process of, of, of pulling like pulling this thing together, you know, uh, and to show you to, to leverage the tools around you to help you with your portfolio. Don't get, don't overwhelm yourself, you know. Like you're stuck somewhere, and you have nobody to bounce off you at the moment. That's fine. Go chat GPT. Like, hey, I need help with this. I need idea for this. Can you need me direct right direction for this. I need wording for this. You know, and like I say, it's not going to do all the work for you, but it just puts you in the right direction. That's all it does because, you know, you know, people, like some people downfall, they're going to be totally dependent on AI and you shouldn't be totally dependent on it. You're using it as, as a tool to assist you, not do the work for you. And, you know, like stuff I think I couldn't figure out, I went to YouTube. I need some information with the dribble. Like, so I'm just showing you all the tools I'm using and bring all stuff together. I'm using plugins, uh, like to find different images and icons, you know, and it's still gonna be challenging, but it's gonna make that process a lot more smoother using all these tools around, tools and resources around you to bring it all together. So, um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, and like, say, and question anything, feel free. Reach out to me on LinkedIn, on the Chris UX, send a connection, add me, um, kind of go from there. But until next time, later.